you know, being part of a Super Bowl, really in any capacity, would be the thrill of a lifetime. But being part of three, not many people can say that. But Larry Nemers can. The former NFL referee lives right here in Springfield, and I caught up with him to discuss his favorite big game memories and his connections to this year's Super Bowl officiating crew. I worked in the league for 34 years, three Super Bowls, 25, 35, and 46. With all that experience, retired NFL referee Larry Nemers watches football a little different than the average fan. I kind of watch it from a referee standpoint now. Unless there's an official that calls me, then I'll send him notes on, a, on sort of a self-evaluation type of thing. To this day, Nemers will offer his insight to officials he worked alongside that are still in the league now. And that number's getting less and less, by the way. In fact, some of them will be on the field for Super Bowl 58. The referee, Bill Vinovich. He's one of the two or three best. Mark Perlman and Tom Hill are on the line of scrimmage, and they were both on my crew. Alan Baines and Brad Freeman, their dads and I worked together, and I'll probably send notes to their dads too. <laughs> After all, it's not an easy job, especially when referees often become a scapegoat for fans. Everybody wants to blame officials. We're like any other walk of life. We're not perfect, but the NFL officials are pretty darn good at what they do. But they're human. And they're going to make mistakes just like the players do and the coaches do. Despite the high stress, Nemers did have moments in his career where he was able to stop and smell the roses. What would you say your favorite Super Bowl memory is? My greatest thrill was listening to Whitney Houston sing the Star Spangled Banner on the sideline during Super Bowl 25 in the Persian Gulf War. And I'm telling you, Jesse, it was unbelievable. I'm standing on the sideline and when she hit that note at the end, I am crying like a baby. Larry, always a pleasure to get to sit down and chat with. You may have noticed he had the Chiefs emblem right there on his shirt. He told me he grew up in Chicago area, so he is a Bears fan, but moved down here with his wife, so his wife dresses him. All right, that's what he told me. So, yeah, uh, he says he'll be rooting for the Chiefs tonight, but should be a lot of fun watching that game from Larry's point of view. Always happy to catch up with him.